femininity is not inherent, it is a construct that has been learned through socialization to keep men dominant. De Beauvoir argued that women have historically been treated as inferior and secondary to men for three reasons. She explained that society teaches women, one, to fulfill a male's needs and therefore exist in relation to men, and two, to follow external cues to seek validation of their worth. Her third point was that females have historically had far fewer legal rights and therefore less public influence. De Beauvoir uses a comparison, saying that a girl is treated like a live doll. What did she mean? A doll is a powerful means of identification. Through it, the girl learns to identify with the condition of being dressed up, made pretty and preened over, whilst not having any agency of her own. She learns to objectify herself, just as men objectify women. The doll is submissive. Its role is to be dressed up, listen to its owner's secrets, comfort her when she is lonely, and lie at home when she is at school. De Beauvoir argues that when the girl grows up, she will find herself in the same situation as her doll. As a woman, it will be her role to attract a husband with her beauty, and to maintain it to ensure he doesn't stray, to quietly listen to his problems, and wait at home for him when he's at work. An accessory, be it plastic or flesh and blood. De Beauvoir stated that even if a woman didn't marry, she would still be held to male standards through external pressures such as the beauty, diet, and fashion industries, which are all complicit in perpetuating the objectification of women. To achieve liberation, de Beauvoir believed women must recognize many of these social norms as constructions. Only then will they have the freedom to escape their context and determine their own destiny. Written against a backdrop of intense conservatism, The Second Sex was published just five years after French women had been granted the right to vote, at a time when few women worked. De Beauvoir's argument that one is not born but rather becomes a woman is still valid today.